In this video I'm going to be covering components which are a addition that comes from the beta version of Strapi. And uh, components are basically a way for us to specify how certain data looks. So here on the left you can see a component called views per category which is actually a repeatable component which then contains a relation with a content category and then it also has a integer variable called number of views. And you can see on the right the code representation of the views per category. You can see here views per category and then we got the ID for each component. Each component is going to have an ID and then the content category which is the relationship and lastly the number of views which, are, uh, which is just a integer parameter. So components at the end of the day are just a way to specify JSON data or advanced uh, strapi data. And the beauty of it is that it provides an interface for functionality. So you could create a bunch of products uh, products that have variations, probably no variations, products that are on discount, products that have free shipping, etc, etc, but they all will be products, so you can think of having a component side for the product that allows you to then write a single math library that calculates all of those costs. Additionally, they, are, they give a UI improvement, specifically they give more powers to uh, people that use the Strapi UI, and they also become extremely powerful when combined with dynamic zones, which is something that uh, if you took the course, you can see it in the, uh, in the section in which we build an advanced portfolio builder by using dynamic zones and components. So this is an example of working with a component, and now I'm going to actually show you the uh, code that I have. I have my content type builder, and what I did is I created a content category, which is just a, a way to have categories, and then I have articles, and each article can have a property called views per category, and the views per category is a component that will contain a relationship and the number of views. So if I go in the articles, actually if I go in the categories, I created three categories, one for chips, then for salad, and then for tomato, and then I have my articles, and the article is basically an article about food, and what I did is I can add as many components as I want, and they will always have a content category and a number of views. So basically, I can specify this component. And uh, again, the beauty of this is simply organizing your data. So I think this is an opt-in option. We could have rewritten this by using uh, a simple, uh, in the article field, we could have had a JSON field, and then we could have a key in which we have the ID of the, ca the, the content category and then a property specified as a JSON variable. So there, there is literally functionally no difference between just reusing the JSON field or a component. On the other end though, the component gives you this nice interface. It also allows you to manage the components. And especially, this is like the selling factor for me is the UI. It gives you this UI interactivity that this way you can allow business people, designers, marketers to build advanced stuff. So it's 100% a productivity hack for them and it basically gives more value to the Strapi panel. It doesn't necessarily bring more value to a developer because it really doesn't. But anyway, I got this question from Robert. He actually asks me how to programmatically update or create a nested component. So he has this component which is literally similar to what we have, the views per category and then it has a bunch of fields. And he shows me that he was uh, asking me how to add an extra category or how to remove it or how to edit it. And the answer is actually fairly overwhelming, I guess, uh, underwhelming to be fair. It's actually, the answer is actually very simple. And it's that you treat a component just like a piece of JSON. There's nothing special about that, which means that whenever you want to add a new component, you will simply this is like the function component add to component article. You're just going to fetch the article and then you can get the previous ones and then you can add the key called views per categories and then you can update that key. So let's get started by just uh, uh, by just playing around with all of this code. And uh, I basically have set up a cron job and the way you can set up a cron job is by going in cron.js and then writing six asterisks which means that you're going to have a cron job every second. And then to activate it, you can go in your environment, development, server.json, inside of the config folder. So config, environment, development, server.json, and set up the cron as enabled. If you want to deploy that, you're going to have to set it up also for production environment. But at this point, you can see, if I console the log, cron job, then you should see every second, as soon as the server restarts, you should see a log with this operation. So this is how you 
learn stuff. This is how you set up your Strapi environment so that you can play around with it. Again, I'm just in a cron.js, I'm gonna close the navigator. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the content manager, articles, and I'll create a new article called second, and I'll save it. And now I have a new article that has no components. The components are called views per categories. So if I wanna show you how a article looks, I can do const first article, and I can retrieve it by typing await strapi.services.article.find1 and then I can type the ID of one and then I can just console.log that one. And I like to uh, log the name of the variable and then the value so this way you can see it and uh, every second we're gonna see it so most likely I'm gonna stop uh, you know I can use control C to stop the execution so that I don't get millions of logs. But at the end of the day, this is how a uh, article looks. So now, if I want to update the second article, and I'm gonna uh, do this uh, split screen setup, and what I can do here is I can just uh, uh, get the second article. So const the second article is gonna be equal to await uh, strapi dot services dot article dot find one with an ID of two. So I'm getting the second article I just created. And now let's say I wanna edit it, okay? So let's say I wanna add a new views per category to the second article. All I would have to do would be to say const new or updated second article is gonna be equal to a copy of the second article, which is an object, so I need to spread the object. Here, dot, 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 second article. And then all I will do on the second article, and I'm gonna say let, even though I could technically use const, but uh, let's say let second ar update the second article. I'm just gonna add this key called views per category. So second article dot views per category is gonna be equal to a list, and the list will contain an object, and the object will have a content category, right? Which uh, actually has no upper C, so it's gonna be lowercase category, and I can put the ID of the content category, so I can get that by looking here, and uh, for now the server is stopped, so I'm gonna actually comment this all out, although to be fair, I know that uh, I can just get the content category of one, two, or three, to be fair, but I'm, I'm gonna show you anyway. So I just commented out the cron job, and I restarted the server. Now I can go in the content category, And I have three, and you see that they have an ID, so now I'm gonna use the ID of, for chips, so the ID one. I'm gonna stop the execution again with Control C, and then I'm going to uncomment everything. And now content category will be one, and lastly the second parameter will be number of views, which is gonna be equal to, let's say, 1337, which is a recurring number in the Strapi mythology. So at this point we have an article, and we're going to basically get it, and then we're going to add this extra, well, actually we're gonna set the views per category to it. So the next, the last thing we gotta do is uh, const update is gonna be equal to the, the, the process of the updating, which will actually return the, the actual updated second article, is gonna be equal to strapi.services.article.update. And now I need uh, a quick reminder because I uh, forgot, I'm just gonna scroll up here. The first parameter of the update is the ID, is the way to get the article that you want to update. The second one will be the updated parameters. So in this one, we're gonna set the ID to number two, and then the second parameter will just be the updated second article. So now we can show what the update looks like, which should basically look like the updated article. But let's see if that's the case. I'm gonna put this on the right, put this on the left, restart the server with npm run develop. And let's look. And we see that now the second article is constantly being updated and we're creating new components at every every second because of the cron job. But hopefully you get the gist that this is just, this views per category is just an object. So now if we want to uh, not only add one, but we wanna, for example, edit one. So something we could do to just uh, add would be to instead of replacing the, the list, we could just uh, use the views per category or actually we could just uh, push into this object, into this copied object, we could just push a new object, right? So this way 
we're updating it and uh, then we can just push the updated object again so this is gone so basically we copy it and then on the copied object uh, we go inside the views per category and we push and we push this new object here and then we just run the update again so now we changed from creating a new component to adding an extra component uh, every time so uh, after every second you're gonna see that the number of components on the article number two increases by one so now you see that but now let's say I want to edit one of them all I have to do is update one of those uh, views per category so something I could do instead of dot push so this will be the example of uh, um, copying it and I'll make sure to have uh, an example uh, coded so you can you can copy that out but basically I'm gonna comment this out or actually I'm gonna comment this part which is basically just uh, add an extra views per category okay we're gonna do the update update a views per category and basically given an ID we're gonna be able to update it so how do we do that well we can uh, uh, there's like technically speaking we just need to get the index of one of these and then given the index we will update it so that's really all we got to do but uh, another approach would be to use splice which I think makes the most sense because let's say you want to change the first views per category then you're gonna change the views per category square bracket zero so you're not even gonna care that you have this specific ID you are just gonna get the specific one that you care about so to show you that example I got the second article here now I'm gonna get a new copy so let uh, updated I guess I'll, I'll keep that name actually so let's undo that that one that comment because we, we, we always need a copy of it anyway to avoid um, issues with memory so we're gonna get this second article up here and then in the second article we can get uh, let uh, uh, view to update is gonna be equal to or actually let's call it let view per update index is gonna be equal let's say to one so we update the second one and then what we're gonna do is updated second article square bracket uh, dot views per category which is the component square bracket the index view to update index okay this one is gonna be basically we're gonna replace it it's gonna um, actually we're not even gonna replace it all we have to do is replace update the specific uh, uh, key that we want to update so if you want to change the content category you can otherwise you can just change the number of views in my case I'll change it to 42 and then we can just push the updated second article in here so we, we actually don't even need to use splice this is literally the simplest way in which you can do it and now at every second we're gonna be updating the first the second entry from 137 views to 42 views and you can see down here that it's working as intended so it's working and replacing those and then clearly you could extend this by getting the component by ID etc etc uh, and uh, so that's that and now I'll show you how to remove one of them okay and the way you can remove one of them remove one views per category is simply by using the splice operator so we can just uh, updated second article dot views per category dot splice and splice will since we already have a copy of the article so we, we we can do splice we're gonna start let's say we want to remove the first one and then we're gonna remove one so remove so basically we're gonna remove the second the second uh, views per category okay and that's really all there is to that so let's save let's refresh the browser and there we go so at the end of the day, if you know your, as you can see, after this one, it's going to start to do nothing because it deletes all of them until the until you only have one. But uh, basically, if you know your array operators, you're going to be good to go uh, from this point onward. So I'll make sure to have this code in the next uh, article after this video. And uh, if you if you haven't joined, make sure to join the complete starting course on Udemy. It's over 20 hours of content. I answer most of the, in, the, the question that people actually uh, answer and they are very helpful to others. I answer them and I make a vi video for it just like this one. So, you know, make sure to jump on a course. And uh, with that said, 
this is really all, uh, all uh, that I wanted to point out. Uh, you're going to have your coding example below. So let me know if you have any other question and have an amazing day.